Hello, hello. Okay, sorry. You know, maybe I'm going to an extreme with this, but I'm kind of tired. Um, I actually filed complaints with you over the years, back in 2014 and 2018, I think, because someone was trolling me on Twitter and they were vicious. Like, it was so bad that it was making me not leave my apartment. I stopped eating, I stopped functioning, and I have an incurable autoimmune disease and a yeast allergy, and I'm very sick. Whoever this person was, they were attacking me for the for a woman by the name of Shonda Rhimes, who is a producer in Los Angeles and very powerful. Because I had filed an action with the NLRB against her. Okay, Jimmy, mm -hmm. what is the federal crime you are to? Here's the thing, I don't know how to describe this as a crime. Someone is actually trying to make me commit suicide and push me to end my life by cutting me off from everyone I know. And they're systematically been doing it for over a decade. And I don't think that there's going to be a federal crime until I actually end up being dead. And when I'm dead, everyone's just going to say I was crazy because no one did anything to stop the person who was bullying me for over a decade. No one did anything to stop Twitter. The I, you know, if I tell you that, the cops are going to show up at my door. I'll get thrown into an institution, which is threatening to my life anyways because I'm sick. There's a very strong possibility. There's a very strong possibility that it, there's a very strong possibility that if things keep happening the way they've been happening, I will end up doing that because they're putting me in a position where I can't get a job. They're putting me in a position where they're cutting me off from all of my friends. And everyone thinks I'm going to go back to my home state of Maryland. My parents are GOP Republicans and I'm fighting Shonda Rhimes, Ben Affleck and a bunch of people in the industry who are protecting a guy who molested me. And I actually have an email now telling me that this guy actually told people he molested me and that I wanted it. And no one is paying attention because I'm not a celebrity. I had 105 accounts attack me. And you guys at the FBI did nothing. This guy threatened to slash my face and rape me because Shonda Rhimes had Obama's ear. And now they're cutting off my Twitter account. And they're not doing it for reasons that I actually did anything wrong. And it's scaring me. They're shutting me off from all of my friends. They're shutting me off from everyone I care about. Okay, what? I need, I need you now. I do need you to look at it not, look at it from my perspective, not as an FBI employee, but as a person, okay? I'm as a person, you're going to think I'm crazy and you're not going to side with me because that's how America is about crazy people. And I'm crazy. And you're not going to side with me because that's how America is about crazy people. And I'm not crazy. What? Yes, please. Now, I'm trying, I, I do this job so I can help people. I pick up the phone today, I hear someone, and I hear someone say that they might end up committing suicide. You understand how that makes me concerned, right? Yeah, I do. And you want to know something? Therapy isn't going to help me because what I need is justice. Well, what I, what, what I, I need is a lawyer to sue the people doing this to me. What I need is for SAG after to be investigated. Well, that's, something we can, that's something we can talk about later, but I think it's more important that we need to address in the immediate term is do you intend to harm you? If this doesn't stop, I will. If they don't stop not letting me be an actor, if they don't stop cutting me off from my actor friends and trying to make me go to church on Sunday, I will. They've been trying to make me be a GOP Christian Republican. Whoever attacked me on Twitter kept saying, telling everyone I'm a Trump supporter. My parents are Trump supporters. And Jason Winston George, who's with sag After, publicly says, I work for producer Shonda Rhimes. He's a Christian from Virginia, and I'm from Maryland. And since the day I first worked with him on a set, he looked at me like I was trash. And I think he did that because I'm an Eastern Shore tall, and Joe Biden is from Delmarva. My parents hate Joe Biden. I don't. I voted for him. But ever since he got elected, my life has gone into a spiral. People in California are thinking that they have the right to basically further destroy me and make me disappear, and Twitter is trying to make all the evidence go away by deleting my account and suspending me. 
all the attacks, everyone I knew in Hollywood is going to be gone. And I'm not going to have anywhere to go. Because unless I can do acting, I'm not going to have a future because the only thing I love in life is acting. And I have a theater degree and a master. You, you, you told me I wasn't too old. As far as sag after is concerned and America is concerned when it comes to acting, I am. We're not supposed to have age discrimination in this country, but I actually had a woman who was a fan of this actress named Carrie Finkley who bullied me at Santa Monica College tell me that because I didn't make it by my age, I might as well give up. I had someone from Texas tell me because I'm a woman, I shouldn't be doing what, women, what men can do. And I'm trained as an editor and a filmmaker. Poor women more concerned. And today, some Twitter account of an African-American from Portuguese started following me. And you may think that's harmless. But the person was following me as a fan of Netflix. And Netflix is the one that kicked me off Twitter, I'm pretty sure. Because I said that they would only hire people who would Ben Affleck would want to sleep with. Because I am sick and tired of the hypocrisy in this country, the fact that as a woman, I am judged by my looks, and yet we have these laws called the ADA that's supposed to protect people. The ADA was actually originally created to get rid of ugly laws. Jason George looked at me on a set and said I was too ugly to be on tape. And the California government isn't doing anything because as far as they're concerned, I'm a white colonial who needs to go back to the East Coast, and they're protecting Shonda Rhimes because she's their golden egg. Okay, this has been, yeah, and I was molested by a guy and I have PTSD from it. I lost my breast to cancer and I have an incurable autoimmune disease. SAG after says that I'm a member, but I actually had to call okay. them. But they, what? I, I have, okay, I have, so she, yeah, just so you know, I have, four, can I, can I just say one more thing? I have, I have 14 gigabytes of emails, Twitter scans, data that I could send to you guys. All the emails. And I keep finding more that I've forgotten about. Some guy calling, telling me I, that I, somebody actually, some casting agent actually at an event said that, that um, something about going on dates and getting blowjobs. And everyone in the room looked at me. And I'm not the kind of girl that would do that. I understand. Now, can I ask you a couple questions? Make sure I'm getting this properly done. Okay. Okay, first of all, I only got your zip code at first. That was kind of sloppy. Can I have your residential address? I don't give that out to anyone because someone has been stalking me. Even you, because my father works for the government and he has ways of getting it. My dad, I, I, ironically enough, my father could probably find my address if he knew how to use a computer. But he, my, well, as far as I know, they keep telling me they don't know where I live. I think they do. My dad was officer in charge of Nogales, Arizona. How about, well, how, how about this? Okay. I'm talking about being protected by my own father, who's a government agent, a former government agent, and he used to be officer, he used to be the, the vice president of the Alumni Association of Retired Customs Secret Service of Homeland Security Agents for the Southwest. Okay. Will it be safe from him? Ma'am, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know. Your, your father does not work for the FBI? No. He worked He okay. worked for Customs. He was a special agent for Customs. He was offered in charge of Nogales, Arizona. He has been controlled. If, 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 if your father is not an FBI employee, then I cannot make you any 100% guarantees. Ma'am, I just simply don't have that power. But I cannot make a 100% guarantee that your father is not an FBI employee. Okay. And what about it? You know, my dad has friends. He has friends. He has very powerful friends. That's okay. been this. It's been the whole problem this entire life. I've been saying this to people, and people think I'm crazy because I'm get it. Seventeen twenty-five. Seventeen twenty-five. North Normandy, Los Angeles, California. Apartment two A. I actually live in the same neighborhood where Shonda Rhimes shoots her television shows, and yet I haven't been on that studio lot since 2008, but I have been attacked, trolled, and abused, and they've been trying to drive me out of my own home for over a decade, simply because... 90027. But it is not my mailing address. I do not accept mail here. I have a P.O. box I use. 
Yes. No, there isn't, but they labeled me as being crazy. The inst the union threw my SAG AFTRA in 2000, um, tw 2012 had the cops put me into an institution because I said I was a lawyer. I have a law degree from Catholic University Law School. I w and okay. That, that's just it. Everyone, you're going to think now that I really am crazy when I wasn't. I wasn't crazy back then. I was sick with a thyroid disease. Yeah, they did. You know what they did? L let me explain what they did to me, okay? They tortured me. They strapped me to a hospital bed for 24 hours, gave me a shot of something, then took a blood test so that whatever they put into my body was on the blood test and that was it. Left me there for 24 hours. Let me be clear with you. You were alleging Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, so I gotta get that documented if you're making that accusation. Okay. I gotta, I need to understand. I, I am crazy now because that I want I want you to understand something. I am probably crazy now because they've been torturing me and bullying me because of that and slandering me because of that. I do, I do, I do need to ask you. What? So you have, say you have PTSD. Have you ever been diagnosed? Here's the weird thing. They, um, they, they said that I was, first they said I was bipolar, then they said I was depressive. But I'm diagnosed with a condition called Hashimoto's disease. Hashimoto's disease, H A, okay, ha, I have to write it down after time. H A S H, Hashim, I have to write it down to spell it. H A S H I M O T O, I think. It's it, that's, a, that's the name of a Japanese doctor that discovered it. It is a thyroid condition where my immune system is attacking my thyroid. It is not hypothyroidism. It is not hyperthyroidism. It is actually a condition where my immune system is trying to hurt my thyroid. However, I have a meat allergy, so I can't take thyroid medicines. I finally got a doctor to put me on special. I'm very sick, basically. I'm very physically sick. Um, the doctor said I had issues. I was there for four days. However, people at the institution kept walking up to me and saying I didn't belong there because I was actually trying to counsel them about not doing drugs. And um, the doctor, the doctor said that the doctor said that I had a depressive problem. But if I looked at when I got all the medical records, and the medical records actually said I also had a, they 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 the, my thyroid, and I didn't know at the time because it, I would no one told me I had Hashimoto's disease until 2014, so for years I was sick and no one told me. But the blood records from when I was in the hospital in 2012 showed that I had a thyroid problem, but they didn't tell me that they had a thyroid problem, and a thyroid problem can actually no. cause you to appear to be mentally ill. I no, that's, I understand. Um, they did not give me any medication. I refused to take medication, and they let me go after four days with no medication. The only medication that I'm on is a medication that I asked to be on. This happened in 2012, and the the doctor I think knew that I shouldn't have been there because he actually gave me a copy of the police report. Because the police report said that. I said I was a lawyer, and I told the doctors, my bar number is 207690, I really am a lawyer. And then three months later, a cop is, got in. Is, is, is that the last time that you were in the institutionalized? The, yes, that was it. I've never been institutionalized since. Okay. However, the cops have knocked on my door four times to check on me because someone has sent them to check on me, and every single time it's been after some... I've had a troll fight with my, I've had a, a fight with this Twitter troll who attacked me for years. Someone who works for Shonda Rhimes, I think, who basically kept saying, don't fuck with Shonda Land, don't mess with us. And in the interim, I was trying to file action with the NRB, I was trying to file action with the state bar, and they were all being tossed out and ignored. 
and I was like screaming for help because I'm Phi Beta Kappa and Mensa and a Maryland Distinguished Scholar. I'm not normal. And the people in the industry who called me crazy were all jealous boys, men, older men, who I either rejected or they didn't think that someone like me could be as smart as I am because I said, well, I'm Phi Beta Kappa and Mensa qualified. And I say, you're crazy. I'm thinking, no, I'm Phi Beta Kappa and Mensa qualified. I don't look like the blonde hot model, but I am. So in other words, my IQ is higher than normal. But I'm also sick. And the, the and, and and you do know that the, the, the number one way that women are 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 labeled sex or sexist men label women and degrade women is by calling us crazy. Right. I'm aware. Now I do need to ask and please don't give that with any of the disappearance questions, but I do need to verify so many need to cooperate with you. Okay. Do you have any weapons in your house? You no. I hate guns. That's just it. In all honesty, the people who did this to me, the men who did this to me, I was being cast as a police officer and FBI on television shows. And they were pissed because I'm anti NRA and a liberal. But I was good at playing those characters because my dad's a former agent. I, I grew up with a father who I watched every day acting like a cop. So I can play a cop on television. I can't actually be one. I don't want guns in my life. And as for sharp objects, I have an aversion to knives. My father almost cut his finger off when I was a kid and I can't stand them. Like I don't even use a razor. I don't, sh I don't shave with a razor I have to use. I have to go wax. I've never been able to shave with a razor my entire life. That's the irony of all this. They threw me in an institution because I said, because I said I was a lawyer, and I said it's after was killing me because they had me because uh, someone at, at, with after assaulted me, and then they gave me all my money back and I joined SAG and I was protesting the merger of SAG AFTRA, so they threw me into an institution to shut me up because I was also talking about a guy named Jeremy Gilbreth who tried to molest me, and I have recently found out that one of the guys who was in the meeting at 2012 named Peter Kwong is in a movie now that he is directing. So they were friends. So they threw me into an institution to protect this guy who's a coke addict, who got fired from sets for cocaine, who shoved his finger up inside my vagina when I was asleep, who apparently actually admitted to his friend that he did that, and I was supposed to forgive him because he says his cocaine addiction made him do it. But my father's a government agent. My mother was a drug dependency nurse. I'm okay with people smoking pot, I look the other way. I'm okay with people doing mushrooms because I was in college and people I knew did that. I look the other way. But if I had ever seen anybody smoking cocaine or heroin or any drug that was, or even like over the counter medication, I would have called the cops on their butt. So if George, Jason, if Jeremy Gilbert had done drugs, which apparently he did when he wasn't in the room with me, because I've got that hint from his friends, because some one of his friends made a comment at a club when I was hanging out with him, it wouldn't be funny if somebody lit up in the corner. And I thought about it at later when thinking, wait, that's what Jeremy did. I went out clubbing with him as a friend. And when I asked him to take me to my car at the end of the night, instead he drove me to a house in Hollywood Hills and tried to molest me. And, um, and my dad's, again, a government agent. I would not, I, would, I don't do drugs. I'm allergic to opium. I'm allergic to pot. I'm actually on LDN, which is low-dose naldextrone. It's a, it's, a, it's a drug that they give to narcotics people, to people with narcotics. But in low doses, it helps my immune system. Because I'm allergic to meat, I can't take normal thyroid medicine. Like, I'm screwed. If my thyroid fails, I die. And meanwhile, the union's blacklisting me. I'm not allowed to work in California when trying to make me go back to leave, leave the country, leave the state. And this is the only place I can stay healthy with my condition. Hello? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm here. Okay, I think I've got what I need for so far. So if you're okay for the time being, I think I have what I need for my for my documentation here. I'm going to go ahead and end the call right now, okay? Yeah, and I'm worried that you're not going to do anything. That Twitter has suspended my account, and if they don't turn it back on, I'm screwed. I mean, they're basically... I, 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 I mean, Laura Ann Toll, I, I had Judith Landau following me. I had, I had casting about following me. I had movie okay, companies okay. following me. And and yeah, and I'm worried that you're going to make me into the criminal because I'm the one who's feeling suicidal because that's what America does. Like I didn't, I would like, I would like the lawyer for SAG. By the way, something else you should know: Crabtree Ireland, who's the head attorney for SAG AFTRA, he graduated law school the same year that I did. Same year, I was the ABA representative of my law school. He was the ABA representative of his. 
I keep getting letters from SAG after saying they're getting rid of me for bad behavior. And I'm wondering if it's some rumor from when I was in law school because I got mad at the men at my law school too. Yeah, well, you know, here's, here's the thing. If he was the ABA representative at the same time I was, we were in the same place in San Francisco at a meeting in 1997. And if he knew I was a lawyer when he threw me in that institution, he lied to the cops. And he did this just to punish me because I was a woman who was doing, not doing billable hours. So please, will you guys do something about SAG after and investigate them? Because this is wrong. Thank you. Bye.